All right, so let's talk about how to finish the job here. Uh, we've given you the kind of the new pieces of information that you need in order to do this. Um, but there are, we're not done, right? If we look at the test cases that we need to pass, both the test restaurant view and test on click launch are not going to pass yet. And, and honestly, they're sort of going to pass, there's two tests here, but they're sort of going to pass at the same time because we've already helped you put the code that starts up the restaurant activity into the right spot, which is into that on click uh, handler on the main activity. Okay, so, so let's kind of work backwards here. So what we want eventually is we want that restaurant uh, activity to display the name and the cuisine of the restaurant. We have a text view as part of our layout. What we don't have is the name of the restaurant. And so what we actually need here is we need a way for, so where do we know what information about the restaurant that was clicked? We was clicked on, we know that in the main activity, the main activity on clicked uh, callback gets passed a reference to the restaurant that was clicked. So we need to get information about that restaurant to the restaurant activity. How do we do that? Well, so it turns out, I'm gonna give you some hints here. Um, the restaurant at intents in Android have um, something called extras that I could add to them. So you'll see here, there's this thing called put extra. And I actually think, can I do it like this? Um, let's see if I can. Uh, no, I have to use this put, too bad. Uh, so I do put extra. And what this will do is this adds extra information to the intent that can then be retrieved by the receiver. Um, so the first thing that's gonna to have to happen in here is we're gonna to have to, and this is tested by the test suite, so you kinda of have to do it this way. Add the restaurant ID to the intent uh, with key ID. Um, I'll, I'll put as an extra with key ID. So before you start uh, pass the intent to the start activity, you need to add the restaurant ID to the intent as an extra with the specific key ID. Um, and the restaurant has an ID property. We just need to use uh, the right uh, method on the intent to add as an, as an extra with the right field. Okay, so that's sort of step number one. Um, now, when you get into a restaurant activity, you need to be able to retrieve the information. So now the main activity has added the information to the intent. You have to be able to retrieve it from the intent. So the first thing you have to do is we actually be able to get the intent that was used um, to start this. Uh, and what we can do here is we can do launch restaurant activity is equal to get intent. Um, and if I look at this method, uh, what is it? Oh, okay. So if I do, yeah, there we go. That, that'll also work. Um, and I can actually, I guess I can just use intent, right? So I can do intent dot, uh, extras dot get, and this will allow me to retrieve that information. So the main activity adds it, the restaurant activity retrieves it. So there's this ID string that gets added by the main activity. The restaurant activity retrieves it. So the first thing here is retrieve the restaurant ID from the intent. And you can look up information about how to do this online. I mean, all the information about intents and extras, there's great examples. Like that's not cheating, right? Like looking at other examples, how to do this is totally okay. That's what we expect you to do. Um, okay, so that's the next thing I have to do. Now I've got to convert that into a restaurant object. So how do I do that? This is very much left up to you, but let me tell you what I would do, or let me tell you what the solution does. Okay, so let's go over to, uh, to, to the client, right? Because remember, the client is uh, responsible for retrieving a list of restaurants, and that's what happens here. And so there's this point in the client code where I have access to a list of restaurants that I've been retrieved from the server, that I've been uh, given from the server. So what you can do here is you can add a property to this client object. You can say, uh, let's say this is a, um, we're gonna call it a, I'll call it restaurant map, which is a map from string to restaurant. Um, and then let's, well, I'll just initialize it to be empty. But now what I can do down here is I can um, populate the map the, what am I calling it here? Uh, populate the restaurant map uh, with the list of restaurants. And there's a couple of different ways to do this, but I can go through each restaurant and add the restaurant to the map, uh, mapping its 
ID to the restaurant object. Um, okay, and there's some errors up here because of white space, but I'll just save and that's gonna clear that up. Okay, now over here in my restaurant activity, um, I need to convert the restaurant ID to, to, uh, to a restaurant, but luckily I have client dot uh, restaurant map that I can use and I could pass my restaurant ID and that'll give me either null or or a restaurant uh, reference to a restaurant and once I have a reference to a restaurant I'm golden because now I can get its name property its cuisine property all the information I need uh, to, to populate the UI so now what I need to do is populate the UI with the name and cuisine so you know this is Pieces of this are things that we've done before. We've used the client on main activity. There's code out there for you to use. I've just sort of like given you a solution sketch here of how to go about this. Um, I will say that this is, as far as an integration task, one of the more interesting things we've asked you to do because it requires changes to a couple of different places. You also are probably gonna have to change the layout, right? Because you're gonna need a place to put both the name and the cuisine. You could put them in both in the same uh, text view if you want, but you could also set up two separate text views. It's up to you. I think they'll both work. Um, so that's your task for today, right? So we've kind of set you up for success. You know how to launch an activity. You know how to, uh, we've set up the layout for the activity. So you know how to draw to the display. Um, you can display information to the user. Now the last thing is just this little fiddly bit of figuring out how to get that restaurant string ID from the main activity to the restaurant activity, and then how to use it to retrieve information about the restaurant uh, so that you can populate the display. As always, if you're uh, frustrated or you get stuck, or if there's things that are confusing, find us on the help site, find us on the forum. Uh, we've got your back. Good luck.